started a movement that is called The Body Is Not An Apology. It is not an apology. The, let me say that again to you. The body is not an apology. And it was really designed to be a resource for people looking to demonstrate, develop, and assist in a global movement of self-esteem and body love. It's the idea that whatever way it is that we came happy for on this planet is totally perfect, just as it is, unaltered and beautiful, <laughs> even as it is right now. Whether you are 300 pounds or 89 pounds, whether you are gay or straight or black, female, no matter how it is that this vessel showed up here, it is fine right now, just as it is. It was amazing. It was a journey, and I really appreciate her for it. I want you to think for a second about what is that thing for you? That pain, shame, trauma, or fear that you've been carrying around in that box you just through. I want you to think about it for a second, and then I want you to write it inside the box. I recognize that even that act is scary because you've just made it real, right? You've just turned it into words. Today I'm gonna to ask all of you guys to take the journey uh, of figuring out how to start your own rocket. And so we're gonna start by cutting everyone's hair. Are we ready? I really like the challenge. So it was just a workshop. It was, it was challenging people to kind of to think about their own identities and experiences and make that into something that, you know, is transformative. Some of us, and I'm hoping that's not gonna be us in this room, will never even take the journey. The way to true liberation is to take our power back in the thing in the box. Usually when I'm not liking my body, it's a result of the fact that I haven't been treated by body. That's usually what that is. It's more about my behavior than it is about anything that my body has done to me. It is your will, your love, your dignity, your truth, your freedom, your liberty, your power. Praise the body, for the body is not an apology. The body is deity. The body is God. The body is God. The only righteous love that will never need repent.
right? We're just, every time I get a new pain, I shove it in a box of pain, then I lock, deadbolt, fasten, board up, put toxic tape across the door, and I move on. But the truth of the matter is that that isn't really true, right? As really what happens is that that closet, that box that we put all of that crap in, all of that toxicity, all of that hurt, really, everywhere we go, we carry that box with us. Even if we don't know, it, it could be the size of Fort Knox right now. And you know what we're doing? We're walking around with it. It's dragging on our backs. We're all looking like Quasimodo, trying to figure out where we're going next. Because you, it doesn't just go away. That's not what happens. It, it becomes intrinsically uh, part of our makeup, part of our interior. But we all know the box is there, right? The Records Project is really just about figuring out how we start to lighten our load. So we're not carrying so much all the time. Because when we're carrying so much, it means our arms are too full to do the things that we really want to be doing in the world. All right, I want you to draw a box. It can be as big or little as you would like it to be. Like, what does your box look like? My box, of course, would have wig, wig hair spilling outside of it. It would, it would be, you know, it would have glitter and sparkles, because I'm a glitter and sparkles kind of gal. Um, it might be propped up with stilettos, because that's how I roll. Uh, you know, there are all types of possibilities. But I just want you to think about, what does your box look? Maybe, is your box flat? Is it three-dimensional? Let me say this first. Nothing that you do here today means that you have to go do a ruckus. Some people are like, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to hurt it, right? We are only, I'm asking you all to imagine that in this moment right now, you have already made the decision to address some pain, shame, trouble, or fear in your life. And I talk about it in relationship to the body. I mean the body in the different ways that body exists. Body exists physically, body exists emotionally, and body exists spiritually. And so any of those areas of pain, shame, trauma, or fear, you are invited to consider investigating today. Okay. The thing in the box, what is it stolen? What would you say? If you had to think of a big conceptual thing that the thing in the box is stolen, what is Security. it stolen? Freedom. Security, freedom, um, emotion, what else? Self-esteem. Self-esteem, what else? Dignity. Dignity, what else? Confidence, Confidence. what else? Identity. Identity, what else? Choice, Choice. what else? Potential. Potential, what? Love. Love. Health. Health. Thing. Will, vision. vision. Wow, this thing, these things in the box, they got, they're doing some stuff, right? <laughs> the thing in the box is doing some stuff. How would you feel if the thing in the box had no power? Free. Free, what else? Liberated. Relaxed, liberated, what else? Relieved. Relieved, what else? Confident, what else? Happy. Happy, what else? Okay. If the thing in the, how would you feel if the thing in the box had no power? Rich, I like that. <laughs> Secure. Loved. Anything else? Again? Happy. Weightless. Blameless. 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 I feel weightless. I feel nice. I feel like a ballerina. <laughs> the next question is what is the scariest thing you could do to address the thing in the box? What is the unthinkable? Oh my God, I would never do that.
I begin to investigate the reasons why I'm making those decisions. And then I just try it again the next day. And maybe it don't go so great, and maybe it does, who knows? But it's all about the journey, the exploration, thank you, the attempt to, to take that to take that chance to simply explore, to simply explore. There are people around the country doing references. When I did this and I put it online, folks, exactly as it should be for us, decided, oh, I want to dress my stuff too. I'm ready to get this thing out of the box and take back my power. It is for us to share that which we learn so that we might inspire other people. The rest, this part is the selfless portion of the record. It is saying, I am not in this just for me. I am 